All right, y'all, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. So we've got our 500-gallon uh, tank, and we've been having issues where it's leaking everywhere. Well, we've got two Hudson float valves in it. Well, see anything wrong in there, folks? Oh, you can't see in there. Oh, look, oh, look, there's something actually stuck in there, which is going to prevent it from actually... Like a stinking seed. There's still more stuff in there. So, that actually, quite frankly, looks like a bumblebee or something got in there. I'm going to unscrew this, clean it out completely, and then put it back in. And that way it won't be overflowing this tank all the time. At night, what we do, basically when the guys are done for the day, is we go ahead and fill up the tank. Uh, we just hook it up to... Our manifold system over there sorry it's blurry there uh, but we hooked that up and then that way in the morning it's full and I'm no longer paying somebody to use the uh, transfer pump that's over there kind of see where the, the two inch hose is the pumps somewhere over there um, but yeah now we can just have filled up but obviously we don't want to continue to just run water which is what's why it's swampy over there it's been raining too today but so periodically guys and it's gonna be a good idea just to Take your Hudson float valve off, and here, let me unscrew this whole thing. All right, so, pretty easy to loosen up. Still got some other stuff in there. And just any, I mean, yep, yeah, there's a little wing for whatever was in there. Take that out. Oh, look, there's a piece of wood the whole thing and thing apart just make sure there's nothing else that's in it that all looks good that's good I just put it back together that goes right on top get threaded in it's actually the point where I was gonna swap out the the whole float valve um, and so another thing to just to keep in mind with this and your employees should be in the habit of doing this is that when you get to a water spigot turn it on make sure it works make sure there's no other bugs guts or whatever else that could be in there um, and then hook your you know turn it off then hook your hose up and then you'll be good to go uh, this is also why we don't use customers' water hoses at their house. Um, or if we have to, we'll uh, turn their water on, same thing, same process, just to make sure it's good and clear to go. Um, this is just something really simple, float valve, just, you know, pushes up there when the water gets high enough and it shuts the water flow off. Um, I'm going to put this in and we'll turn on, make sure that it's actually working properly, and then we should be good to go. So... We do have a second Hudson float valve, so I'm going to take that one out while I'm doing this. Have a great day. See ya. Just to follow up to that video, and we'll put them all together, but um, this is your actual filter that a lot of people, myself included, normally remove. This one's on our secondary line, but that can help trap debris up top so it doesn't stop the function of it. But you know, a lot of people will complain that that stops the flow too much. Um, and we've checked in here. Clean as a whistle. And put that back in. Tighten that up. Um, you also want to just make sure that that freely moves to shut the flow of water off there. So again, we're going to reinstall this. Um, that's it. 